I need some theme music. Anyway, how you doing? It's your guy Dutch. Here I am, week four, GZB Fantasy Football Predictions. First of all, let's start off with the Northern Authority versus the Cactus Killers. Now, uh, with the Northern Authority in sole possession of the number one spot, the bullseye has moved north of the border. Yes, that's right. It is aimed squarely at Colonel Karma and his Northern Authority, a.k.a. the Out for a Rip Boys. That's what we're going to call them. Or the bunch of dirty bird dirt, you know, the bunch of dirty dirt squirrels. Karma knows about that. Anyhow, uh, now, um, <clears throat> facing him, he's uh, facing Karma. He's playing against this week the Cactus Killers. And uh, Coach Joe has the offensive powerhouse known as Megatron. He'll be coming, making his appearance. And uh, so it looks like he's trying to make a rebound from last week. Now, personally, um, I would like to see... Uh, well, here's my prediction. My prediction is uh, Team Cactus rebounds from last week's loss and utterly destroys Colin Karma and his band of dirty dirt squirrels. Love you, Karma. Up next, looking up, we got the GZB Autopilots versus the Grabowskis. Now, uh, this matchup here is interesting to me for one reason and one reason only. Loser of this match probably is going to be at the bottom of the totem pole if you know what I'm talking about. Mm, yeah. So, uh, now, I, I don't have any predictions here, mainly, mainly questions. Uh, questions such as, will Coach P regain his championship swag? Uh, will the really, really good Aaron Rodgers finally show up? Will Coach Braindead bench RG3? Speaking of that, will Coach Braindead even check on his team this week? Uh, and um, have you ever heard B. Dizzle snore? Very interesting. So again, um... No prediction, really a lot of questions. You know, see what happens with that one. Up next, we got Team Heisenberg against their Sir Lancelots. Uh, this is a tough matchup for Team Heisenberg. Uh, Coach Y's secret weapon, uh, the starting Q uh, well, Coach Y's secret weapon is actually the starting QBs for Sir Lancelot's team. Yes. Eli, Mr. I got more rings than my big brother Peyton Manning. Um... It all depends on Eli. If he comes out and has an awesome game and does what he has to do, then uh, it's pretty pretty easily feasible that uh, Sir Lancelot will probably win this matchup. If we have, you know, Eli from the first two weeks, not week three, week one and two, then, you know, Heisenberg um, hmm. got this in the bag. Uh, you know, my prediction, honestly... I've been burned by Eli in the past, having him on my fantasy team. Can't depend on him. I'm going to go with Team Heisenberg. And now we have uh, the Golf Grenadiers versus these Nuts. Now, um, privately over Twitter, uh, Coach T DM'd me and told me that this game will be bittersweet for him as he enjoys the Misa. You know, he's not sure what to do here. He loves the Misa, even though he's heavily favored to win over Coach Chismo and his nuts. However, uh, after last week's win, uh, Coach Chismo has the momentum uh, to go ahead and knock Coach T off his perch right now. Uh, now, it can happen. It might not. Where do things have happened? This is fantasy football. My prediction. Got it on my heart. Mulling with the homie. Sorry, Tao. Mulling with these nuts. Now, um, matchup here is the High Flyers versus CNJ Auto. This is a must win for both teams. I believe so. Um, they both teams have their major contributors on the bench. Um, the High Flyers 
Marshawn Lynch, Russell Wilson, they had a bye week for the CNJ Auto Crew. Uh, Peyton Manning and Julius Thomas, they both are also have a bye week. So, you know, now uh, Coach Blunted did promise me that the Falcons will take the field this weekend to play defense. He will make sure of that. Um, truth be told, man, I want to win. You know, I'm not going to lie and tell you, oh, I think he's going to beat me. Nah, fuck that shit. Auto, I'm aiming to beat you, buddy. You know, I'm taking personal. You know, just going for me, bro. Ruin for Dutch. All right. Uh, last of my predictions, we got Stomp the Yard versus Hold My Coltrane. That's right. Say slowly. Hold my Coltrane. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, um, <clears throat> with three of Hold My Coltrane starters riding the pine due to bye weeks, um, and Adrian Peterson out indefinitely, uh, Coach Demented is way behind on the eight ball on this one. Um, you know, Senor Stomp is trying to rebound from last week's shellacking at the hands of this guy right here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he's trying to come back from that, and, and he's primed to go 2-1-2 two two after week four. And uh, he's trying to, you know, go into week five above at 500. Ever hold my Coltrane? You know, um, he does. And if if Coach Demented doesn't replace a lot of his bench players, uh, <clears throat> he'll be dropping down into the loser circle as well this week. My prediction. So those are my predictions for this week. Uh, short and sweet. Thank you for watching. I promise soon, somehow, I will get theme music. All right. Dutch out. Peace. See you later. See you guys next week, actually, for the my week five, my week four recap, and then week five predictions. Boom. Love you guys. Peace.